Hello, hello, how are you guys doing? Thank you guys so much for joining here. It's Tara. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. What's up, what's up, you guys? Um, I'm gonna do my spread a little bit different today, but um, I would like to say thank you so much to all my new subscribers, you guys. I appreciate you guys clicking onto my video. Um, now this is going to be for my tour, Summer Horizon. I'm gonna call to do you guys' reading and see what's going on with you guys' energy, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my tours, Summer Horizon, or reading time. Because anywhere you travel, you could oh, simply be dealing with a tour, okay? But let's see what's going on, you guys. Please excuse your girl now. What's up? Try to do it myself, but honey, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. Didn't work out there. All right. But definitely, let's see what's going on, Taurus. Separation. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The time apart from your partner um, is on the horizon and romantic feelings. Okay, Leo had this as well. If you guys are dealing with a Leo, they have romantic feelings. Okay. And also it says, let your friends help you. Okay. So, definitely. Let's see what's going on here. Mm -hmm. So, you could be separated from somebody that has romantic feelings for you, Taurus. Or basically, the person you're dealing with, y'all could be separated maybe in the near future. All right, hopefully not. It's only bad news. But, um, let's see. Let's see. Let me get two more cards from this spread. We're going to see what's going on with y'all. Okay, this is going to be for May 2020, by the way, if I didn't say that already. Okay. All right. Okay, toys, let's see what's going on with y'all. Disruption at the bottom of the day. Mm. Whew, let's see. Okay, these two ones will come out. Let's see. Bottom of the day, we have Hope. Leo had it too. Okay. Um, we have discontent and boredom. And we also have fertility. That's crazy because. But discontent and boredom and fertility. So some of you definitely are bored right now, Taurus. Maybe in a home situation or maybe from a job, but you're definitely feeling bored. Okay, because but you're still trying to birth something new here. Um, whatever that may be, you're trying to give life to something. You're trying to rekindle something or give something back to life here. Or just um, get your passion and, and, you know, feel for it again. Whatever it may be. Otherwise, I'm not here. Maybe some of you want to separate from the job or this person. Hopefully, some of you don't have romantic feelings for somebody else. Okay? And you want to separate from the person that you're with because you're bored with that person. And you want to start something new with someone else. Ooh! I ain't got time. I ain't got time. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Let me get a spread. Ooh, honey, 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 child, honey, child, Taurus. What's going on with y'all? Some of y'all definitely could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius. Okay. Cups here, character I'm seeing. Okay. Well, clarify separation, please, spirit for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Clarify separation for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Damn. So some of y'all definitely want to separate from a home matter, a spiritual union. Um, definitely from a divine counterpart here. For for a stats here, somebody definitely wants to leave a home situation okay they want to begin something new here okay let me see we're gonna have to get some more detail what with the ten of coins here i don't i what the, okay so some i gotta get some more information so i'm trying to figure out who would want to separate from a divine partnership here with the ten of coins here that means you guys are financially stable nine of cups here so somebody want to propose something to somebody maybe or maybe somebody separated from somebody to get this beautiful um, partnership and this financial stability here with someone in a, a happy home. Um, because they have romantic feelings, for, definitely, for somebody for somebody here. I don't... That's crazy. Okay. Clarify. Okay. Mm. Some of you could be resisting this. Okay, some of you definitely could be resisting this person. This could be, like I said, an air sign here that you could have had a, um, a firm foundation with, okay? You guys could have had 
a lot of things together, okay? Your home, okay? That was built between the two of you. But it seems like somebody is maybe mourning after this. Or somebody may have broken up with somebody. But uh, let's see what else. The Queen of Swords here. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Clarify the Queen of Swords here. Clarify the Queen of Swords. Okay, we have a King of Coins here. Somebody could be separating from a um, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. This could be you. Okay, because somebody might be mourning over you or, or you know, feeling the loss of you and um, separating. Okay, yeah, somebody was being maybe manipulative, manipulative or hopefully somebody's trying to, okay. Yeah, somebody was trying to be manipulative, somebody trying to be strong, They're trying to manifest something different, something new here. Or maybe you guys are trying to manifest coming together. But um, you got a King of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. So somebody do love you here. Somebody love you here. They want um, stability with you. Okay. They want this home. Okay. Or maybe. Oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe there was some type of secret here. Maybe there was some type of secret that was a reveal. This high priestess is very intuitive. Maybe somebody intuitively know this or intuitively know that they're going to be coming together with somebody or they're going to be leaving someone. Or something was hidden that has, you know, been revealed. Maybe about an Aquarius or something. Okay. I'm seeing a star card. Okay. Yeah, somebody definitely wants to put down the burden in the situation. Somebody definitely wants to take responsibility for their actions. Sorry. Yeah, but whatever it is, you guys are going to overcome this very successfully, okay? So, I do see somebody, once somebody put down the burdens and they take responsibility for their actions or from anything that may have been hidden that came to the light, somebody successfully is going to move forward. They're going to overcome anybody trying to separate or hinder or something, okay? Um, for somebody holding their emotions back or just holding back, period, has allowed this person that you have been separated from to see their um you know, their actions, what they have done in the past or whatever they've done that was deceitful and manipulative ways here or what have you. But somebody's very intuitive. Somebody knows all of this already, maybe. But what is the romantic feelings? Okay. Some of you could be done with the um, uh, Pisces here. But definitely um, there was some type of secret, some type of something that was hidden that had to come to the light here. Okay, now I'm not sure where this go, honey. Whoa, who, honey? Let's see what the romantic feelings is. The feelings are real and worth exploring. What is the romantic feelings here for? What is romantic feelings here for? What is romantic feelings here for? Okay, that's too many cards, honey. What is romantic feelings here for? Okay. Okay, so there's some type of change that's going to go. It's going to take place here. With the Wheel of Fortune, we have uh, the lovers here. So, somebody could be dealing with a Gemini here. But there's going to be some type of change in this in these, um, partnership, this partnership, this uh, spiritual union. Somebody's definitely going to be moving forward. This could be a Cancer here. Okay, but somebody's definitely in her head on whether or not they should explore this. Okay? Yeah, because somebody got options. Okay? Somebody got options. Okay? Yeah, somebody want to take a new beginning, though. Somebody do want to take a new beginning, but they're in limbo. They don't know whether, whether or not they want to do this or not. But this um, is a new beginning here. Okay, maybe even a new financial beginning. But I do see that there, there could be a new beginning between the two of you. Things are going to change between... Well, somebody definitely dealing with a Gemini or Cancer. Okay? Definitely. Okay, what is it? This contending boredom. Okay, wish fulfillment, the Nine of Cups, Three of Swords, and the Three of Staff. We have two threes here. So, definitely somebody is feeling like their wish fulfillment is not turned out the way they turn, it should have turned out. Or somebody's seeing you as their wish fulfillment. And they're heartbroken. They was waiting on their um, they shifts to come in, something to come in. Um, I guess maybe even communicate with you about something. But, and they see you as a wish fulfillment, but somebody is not really excited or enthused by this offer okay
could be by a king of staffs, a fire sign, male, masculine energy. Okay, let's see what this fertility card is. Okay, fertility, all right. Fertility. Okay, somebody made a decision maybe. Okay, or somebody's wanted to make a decision from juggling. Maybe a mother figure here. Um, or just someone, or even juggled you and you was the, the empress woman, okay? But definitely, there's going to be fast communication about that. And it's maybe even a new beginning. Okay. Somebody definitely want a new beginning. But here you go standing out. You could be dealing with a Virgo. But here you go standing out, Tur a Taurus. Okay. Or well, this could be you, baby. But definitely here with the Queen of Coins here. Um, with the Sun card. Wow. Some of you definitely could be dealing with a Leo. What I tell y'all? So definitely could be dealing with a Leo here. Somebody felt like something was a burden, y'all. They felt like they was putting in all the work in a certain situation, okay? But definitely with the nine of staffs here, somebody blocked something out, some type of communication, some anything, okay? And Queen of Cups is stepping back into their sensitivity, okay? Because that was it was toxic. Some, the, the situation was very toxic, somebody felt like. And um, this person still want to reach out to you. They still want to propose something to you. But somebody got a realization that maybe you don't want to move forward, but, yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right, Taurus. Let's see what else here. We're going to get some Angel Esther cards and see what they have to tell you, okay? Get some Angel Esther cards. All right. Somebody definitely could be separating, too. I'm getting from um, Taurus, maybe a Pisces. Because that person just had so many damn secrets. That person was just untrustworthy. It was just too much going on. And they feel like if they let go, they'll be more successful. But yeah, um, not the right time. So it's not the right time for something, okay? It's not the right time to move forward in this situation. And uh, let's see. Hold on. Listen to your intuition. What is your intuition telling you about the situation? What is your intuition telling you about the situation? You need to remain positive because you are ready, though. Okay? You need to remain positive because you are ready. All right? But, yeah, you guys need to go ahead and remain positive because you are ready. What is your intuition telling you? Okay? When you think about the situation. But you need to go ahead and communicate clearly moving forward. All right? Alrighty, thank you guys so much for joining Tierra Tarot. I appreciate you guys clicking up to my video. Hopefully this resonated with you. If so, please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you to all my new subscribers uh, again. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. This will be for May 2020. One personal reading. Like I said, look in the description box below. Bye-bye.